Hi everyone, this is Fahad Mirza and I welcome you to the channel. In this video, I am going to show you an amazing model which is Moon Dream 2. We already have covered the previous versions of Moon Dream but this version really brings something new. It includes support for structured output, better text understanding and gaze detection. That and you can do a fabulous OCR with it as per their model card but we will check it out after installing it locally. It's a small vision language model which has been designed to run efficiently on edge devices. We are going to install its 2 billion parameter model and you can run it on CPU or GPU but I would highly suggest that for every vision model you always go for a GPU. So without wasting any further time let's try to get it installed and see how it works. And let me also introduce you to the sponsors of this video who are iGenBot. iGenBot lets you effortlessly deploy a personalized knowledge bot across platforms like Discord, Slack and others. It is ideal for open source tech communities and startups that provide user support and I will drop the link to their website in video's description. Let me take you to my terminal. This is my Ubuntu system and this is my GPU card NVIDIA RTX A6000 with 48 GB of VRAM courtesy Mast Compute. If you're also looking to rent a GPU on very affordable prices, I will drop the link to their website in video description. Plus, I'm also going to give you a coupon code of 50% discount on a range of GPUs, so do check them out. Let me create a virtual environment with Conda. And now let me install all the prerequisites which include Torch, Torch Vision, Pillow and few other stuff. Let's wait for it. This is going to take two to three minutes. And now let me launch my Jupyter Notebook. And now let's download the model by importing these transformers libraries. And the model is being downloaded. You can see that there is only one model file, which is good, just under four gig. So you can even run it on good CPU with good memory like 32 GB or 16 GB even and should be good on edge devices too. And the model is loaded. Now let me show you how this model seems so cool to me. So first up what I'm going to do, I'm just going to give it this table and I'm going to do structured output out of it. So I'm maybe I'll just say return me this row but in JSON format. So let me give it this image. So this is the image which I just showed you and I am asking it give me moon dream 2 billion int 4 row this one in JSON format. Let me run it. While it runs let's also quickly check VRAM consumption. So just over 5 gig. That's it. Okay and there you go. How good is that? So if I display the image here and if you compare it. so. This is the row or uh, column name which it has given in a key value format. So this is a moon dream int four numbers are correct. So this this is a uh, megabit but it has missed i here. And memory usage is 2002 which is correct. Numbers are right with commas and everything and then download. So the only thing missing here is this i from here but that is fine. Look how cool the model is. Very, very impressive in terms of structured output. Now in the next question from the same table, I am asking it to give me a second last row from table in image wrapped in a row element. So I don't think so. It is okay. Yeah, no, that is fine. It is a second last. Let me, where is my image? There you go. That is good. Now what I want to do, I want to do it in XML maybe. So I'll just say give me second last row from table in image in XML format wrapped in a row element. Let's see what it does here. And I will let it run to show you the speed of it. Working on it, taking a bit of a time. And there you go, look at the response of the model. So this is the second uh, last row, 0.5 billion, and it has created a perfect row element in XML format uh, quite easily. So this really opens up a lot of avenues, really a lot of use cases. 
and it also it threatens a lot of jobs to be honest anyway let's try out another format now in this next example i am asking it to do a structured output of this so it is not only doing structured output but sort of it is also doing ocr here and i'm asking it to do this time in the markdown format so let's run it and see what it does here there you go very very nice journal circulation comments and then this is a pharmacy time 100,000 monthly fabulous and now let's see the gaze detection here so i'm going to give it this image which is AI generated and i'm going to ask it in the image where this girl is looking so let me run this there you go so not only it has identified the gaze direction but also what exactly she is looking at so it says in image the girl is looking at her cell phone really good stuff in the next example this is another ai generated one so it's a bridal uh, setting so i'm asking it in the image let me make it a bit uh, smaller so that you would know in image how many people are there and where they are looking can you describe their gaze let's see if it can do that to describe the gaze there are two people in the image a man and a woman they are looking at each other and appears to be sharing a moment really really good stuff amazing so we have seen that it can do ocr in english quite nicely let's see if it is multilingual so i have just given it this uh, image of a chinese text no it, i don't think so it can do uh, this one maybe i will just maybe try with arabic too so chinese it couldn't do so i have this arabic image let me also quickly show you where my arabic image is this is the one let's see if it can do that let's wait for it so you can see that it really doesn't make sense it seems that it is not multilingual in terms of OCR okay no problem let's try to see how it deals with the charts now I'm giving it this chart and I'm asking it cyberpunk's this RTX 5 5090 performance out of this let's see if it is able to uh, decipher this chart and tell us about the cyberpunk's performance looks really good 33 very nice there you go this is a white in the white 33 as you can see just right next to this plus 27 really really cool amazing okay in the next one i'm going to ask it a question about the image so i'm asking it is a traffic signal on the right or the left in the image of course now if you look closely the thing is that there are traffic signals or lights on both sides of the street but this one because we are going towards that direction we expect the answer to be left so let's see if it is able to do that no it says that the traffic signal on the right and right side of the image the the answer is correct so uh, depends on what side of uh, turn you want to take for example i wanted to take left so that is why i thought okay it will detect left but and the angle is from the left but it has due to the direction of the car it has given us the uh, right one now we can ask it uh, how many traffic lights are there let's see if it is able to detect that says yes that is sorry not this one so yeah so it is able to detect that there are two lights and traffic lights this one is not lights so how about if i uh, say lights are there let's make the model's life a bit harder so it says two lights so i'll just ask it how many street lights are there then yep there are two streets like this one and that one is at the far end very nice so look i believe the performance of the model is really really good okay finally um let's test it out on one of the images so i'm just asking it who is the person in the image now the thing is this is just an ai generated one let's see if model gives me uh just a made up answer or just something i think it has done a really really good it says that the person in the image is a beautiful blonde woman that is correct so it has also added this beautiful so look i think 
amazing model very very impressive i will drop the link to it in video description let me know your thoughts on it if you are interested in the previous moon dreams model just go to my channel and search them out there are various videos i have done on them if you like the content please consider subscribing to the channel if you are already subscribed please share it among your network as it helps thank you for watching